We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. me again. <laughs> I had to come and hide in my room for a couple of seconds to see if I can get out a few of my thoughts. I am trying to get in at least like 15 to 30 minutes of writing time. I'm really trying to have a schedule. A good writing routine is really what I need. This journey for us is about learning to grow as writers together as a family and that starts with me. I'm taking a master class by Margaret Atwood on, on creative writing and we write throughout the day. Uh, my hope is for a blog post write-up or a research report for the kids more than a stream of consciousness but really start to develop stories, uh, full stories, uh, complete stories that can be turned into scripts and used for film. That is the goal around here. Really needs to create more of a writing um, schedule. And anything I do for myself, I then mimic with the kids because it makes it more doable, more possible, and more of a full family experience. In the lesson, she really talks about finding your own process and um, she stresses that a fruitful writing process will be different for each person. For us as a family, it will look different. We set aside especially Mondays to write, and we write for about 15 to 20, 30 minutes, and I want to get a little bit more aggressive with that. Maybe having a word goal. She just says that setting routine-based goals are really helpful. And I can do that with the kids. We can all sit at the dining room table with a little snack out and something that signifies this is writing time. So that's kind of what I want to do. I want to take as many opportunities as possible to use our channel and the way that we document in homeschool and life to help us move forward in uh, writing together as a family and uh, developing our journalism skills because I think that it's a wonderful way for us to explore the world around us. I know it's extra, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Whether they're um, funny short stories or letters uh, to family and friends, I've always thought was great practice for them. And so it'll be great practice for me to really start to step it up in my recaps of our homeschool day while they are exploring and working on their research reports, their history timelines, uh, listening for the things that they say throughout the day and the questions that they have, just letting that become um, a little bit more of a structured piece of work for me. I jot down things here and there, but I want to try to use that as an opportunity to write better. Doing the best I can with the time that I've been given, it's been a challenge because of course I want to be full on present with them in the way that they're exploring and discovering the world around them, but I want to also grow and get better um, and sharpen my storytelling skills and I'm just always looking for ways to merge those the best that I can. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for my writing routine, just to step it up a bit more. We've always done really well with writing time and 
Uh, a lot of that comes from just simply making time for it. We have a pretty solid routine of reading together and we've worked on that over the last few years. And now I think it's time for us to do that same thing uh, with our writing time. Because really, this is about being readers, writers, and filmmakers. And we're just working on them in phases. First with the reading, and now moving into our writing together as a family, and then even further into filmmaking. So that's kind of our plan um, of becoming these readers, writers, filmmakers, uh, exploring and discovering the world around us, and being as creative as possible as we can with our lives. Um, I love that you guys are here to listen to me talk about all these things. <laughs> However lofty they may sound or different they may seem, um, I love that you guys have been along for the ride. So that is what I'm doing, uh, starting to shift our attentions into developing a good, solid writing routine that we can build upon and grow with our reading routine and then moving into filmmaking for us. So, yeah. <laughs> Back to my lessons. It's part historical fiction. Oh, Amelia Earhart's sister's name is What's the story? We have all the things going on right now. I am actually, <laughs> Brian is working in the other room on the trim on the baseboards in the house. And um, I am gathering together some things for my nephew. I'm trying to put together a little bit of a preschool type of curriculum for my brother to be able to do with my nephew while he is learning at home. And I'm having way too much fun doing this, you guys. So maybe I'll show you guys um, all that I am putting in in his little package later. Actually moving some things around on our bookcase, moving some things around here and up here. I'm trying to go through our curriculum cart so that I can make any changes or adjustments for the coming week. Trying to dust off. I know it looks all nice and bright and white, but there's plenty of like chalk dust on our tables. Brian is going to be moving that little coat hanger that used to live in the kitchen area in order to try and contain their little book bag over in this spot in the corner. And I just switched up our bookshelf a little bit. We got a new calendar to keep all of our things in order. So Brian's gonna hang that for me in the kitchen area now. This is what I have so far. I'm trying to get all the things accomplished right now so that we can be nice and ready for a little watch party tonight. It's time to relax with my crew. Again, life is so very full of lessons and so our goal is 100% to live and to learn. Don't forget to subscribe!